Uh, we are learning more tonight about that plane crash in Unalaska that took the life of a 38 year old man from Washington. David Altman is his name. He's from Wenatchee. The commuter plane had 42 people on board, including a high school swim, swim team when it went off the runway at the Unalaska Dutch Harbor Airport. One NTSB investigator arrived on the scene this morning. Nine others are on their way. KTUU's Grant Robinson has the story. On Alaska City Manager Aaron Reinders, it was clear soon after Panair Flight 3296 touched down that something was wrong. Being a community member, you kind of know that usually the plane starts slowing down at a certain point. Um, and when you recognize that it's not slowing down, there was definitely concern throughout the airport of what was going on. Um, so at that point, um, it was apparent to everybody there that something wasn't happening correctly. Despite a rapid response from emergency crews, 38-year-old David Allen Altman from Wenatchee, Washington, died as a result of the trauma. Ten other patients were taken to the local clinic with a broad range of injuries, but there's been no update on their condition. This, there's lots of different agencies involved and all are are playing their role in, you know, in both responding and investigating and, and then bringing things up, you know, to a operational levels, uh, levels again. Friday morning, the first NTSB investigator arrived on scene. She was able to recover the cockpit voice recorder and flight data recorder from the plane. A spokesperson for the NTSB says those devices will be hand carried to Washington, D.C. and should be inspected as early as Sunday. Nine more NTSB investigators are en route to Alaska and will continue documenting wreckage, talking to the crew and other witnesses. An NTSB spokesman said there's still no timetable as to when they may know what caused the plane to crash.